Hey, what's up, beautiful people? How you doing today? Welcome to State Damn TV. Yes, where we bring you fantastic, amazing, entertaining lifestyle celebrity gist. You name it, tons of entertainment here on this channel. And this is your favorite show brought to you by your host Rashid, and it is called Let Us Talk. Yes, today we're gonna be talking about five things that we're trying to do as millennials that the Gen Z's have no idea about or we are just not training them to do it. And if you not click on the red subscribe button before I get onto that, hit on my red subscribe button and hit the bell notification so when I have a new video, you're one of the first to know about it. I'll be right back. Yeah, welcome back. My name is Rashid and this is Stadium TV and we're discussing five things that the millennials, you know, kids in the 80s, kids in the 90s were trained to do here in Lagos City, Nigeria, that the kids that I see around nowadays I have no idea about or they're just not doing it anyway. They just don't care about doing it. The first is that we were trained specifically, the number one thing is that we were trained as children to avoid walking in the same path when you see an elder coming. I mean, when you see an elder coming your way like this, you step out of the way. You make sure you, you step out, make sure the elder pass with respect and honor. <laughs> the, the Gen Z's, if you're not careful, they will practically walk over the head of the elder. If you know what I'm talking about, if you had the experience with them. Uh, Gen Z, the kids of nowadays, don't. They don't care who is coming or who is not coming. They walk, they believe in equal rights. They walk right into you. So that's one of the things I've noticed that, of course, the kids of those days used to do that respect, that honor, allowing the path for the elderly one, leaving the path for them, making them pass before you. The Gen Z's, the younger kids of these days, have no idea about that and they don't do it. Yeah, the second, which is of course very common in the West back then, is prostrating, kneeling, or bowing to the elders. You know, when you see an elder when you wake up in the morning you see your dad or you see your mom you, as a guy you prostrate you know that's what we call you prostrate down to show respect as a lady you kneel down you know to show respect the kids of nowadays just i mean your kid even in your house they just wake up in the morning and say good morning dad good morning dad yeah <laughs> so what is this a failure of culture I'm seeing right here? Because if this is supposed to be part of a culture, especially of the Yorubas of the West, why are the kids of the Yorubas no longer doing it? I mean, a lot of kids just see the elder and they just, some just even say, hi, hi, uncle. You know, the Western culture has been imported and the kids of nowadays don't do their own culture. They've lost that prostrating, that bowing, that respect, that honor for the elders. Being shown with that action, with those actions, is no longer being done by these kids of nowadays. I don't see, they don't do it again, I don't see it. I mean, maybe out of 100 kids, you'll have one still doing it, or maybe out of 1,000 even, you'll have just one doing it. So that's the second thing that the kids of these days don't do again that we used to do when we were kids. So the thought things that we were trained to do as kids to respect and honor elders that the kids of nowadays don't do again, they don't even send, is that we don't use left hand. You dare not use your left hand to give something to an elder. You dare not. For the kids of nowadays, if possible, they will use leg. <laughs> They, they can use teeth, they'll say, yo, dad, take. They put it in there, yo, dad, can you take this for me? Yeah. Hey, dad, can you help me take this for my teeth? You know. But we, you dare not use your left hand. You use both hands or you use right hand. With the kneeling down combined or the, or the buying or the prostrating. But I don't see kids of nowadays doing that again. So that's a tough thing that we're trying to do as kids that I don't see the Gen Z's being trained to do them or they are simply not doing it. And there were things we used to do to honor and to respect elders. We're trained specifically, deliberately, intentionally by our parents, by our elders, by our folks, raising us our guidance to do these things to honor the elders but it's missing right now in the genesis in the next generation of kids that we are raising the fourth thing is that we used to call our seniors uh, by this extra title of brother 
sister auntie so if, it, if your brother is about four years older than you you're not expected to just say are you i'm going out or are you come with me or say brother your if it's a lady uh it's your sister a senior sister you say auntie this or sister this like a honor to show respect and all that man even if your brother is eight years older than you in this gen z generation his name man i mean a four-year-old will boldly call his senior sister who is 12 year old janet can you help me with my own work who dares you when we're going up you gotta say sister janet or auntie me janet or Ebony J, that's what I'm talking about. Pardon me for those of you that don't understand uh, some of the vernacular I'm speaking, but that's what I'm trying to, I'm just trying to express how, how the culture has dipped when it comes to how children used to honor elders compared to now. Our children in the 80s and the 90s used to all know they are elders in the West culture of Nigeria compared to right now, how, what is present right now in Nigeria all over Nigeria, it's gone really south. It's gone south. The respect and the honor has gone south when it comes from kids respecting elders. So that's the fourth thing, you know, no more brother, no more sister, no more auntie, the name level, we just did. The final thing that kids of nowadays don't do, that we were trained to do as part of our culture, even to honor the elders, is that we would lend Yoruba. We lent our Igbo, we lent our Hausa, we lent our native language, whatever it is, before English. What was spoken in the house was a native language in most homes, and then you get to learn your English along the way from your friends and school, and of course from your parents too. But the first language of communication is the native language, which helps the children to embrace the respect and the honor and the value for elders. It is missing now. I mean, kids practically don't understand a word of their language. And the way they keep getting A and A plus in the language in their elementary school, in their nursery school, amazes me. I mean, the teachers of the languages practically translate in English to them. And they say they are teaching them language. You are teaching Yoruba, but you are using English to ask them questions. What kind of Yoruba is that you are teaching? So there's a loss of the language by the children being raised nowadays they don't understand the language they can't speak it some understand it but can't speak it some don't even understand it at all and that is just a missing link because the culture is entrenched in the understanding of the language which brings a lot of dishonor even to the elders a lot of disrespect which is happening which we see happening coming from this new generation to the older generation so so those are some of the five things those are the five things that i've seen missing that we while growing up had based on the cultural values that we got from our parents that is missing in the present Gen Z. And I hope there's a way we can turn things around. I hope there's a way you watching right there can begin to be intentional with your kids, be intentional with children around you in showing them the culture, showing them the value of the Nigerian culture, the rich heritage that they come from and not losing that to uh, other culture outside of the country. It's okay to embrace other culture, but don't lose yours but because it is your heritage. My name is Rashid and I've just shared with you five interesting things, interesting honor, interesting cultural values that we had as children, as kids while growing up in Nigeria, which is missing in the present generation of kids, the Gen Z that is being raised right now and i hope you enjoyed watching the video if you did please click on the like button share drop a comment for me i will definitely respond to you and don't forget to check out the let us talk playlist the did you know playlist and the billionaire of nigeria playlist on your screen click on the red subscribe button hit the bell notification so you when i have a new video you're one of the first to know about it i'm signing out right now you know how i do now Bye, yeah.